Windows 10 system manually and also using the Windows 10 disk cleanup utility. So let's look at the run command here. I right click on this lower corner here. I get the run command there. Or if I hit the Windows logo and R, I also get it. So first I'm gonna type in temp to access some of the temporary files. And this is stuff that I call junk, junk files. You can delete these manually here. Again, accessing the run command either way here. I'm going to click Windows logo and R again. And this time I'm going to type uh, the percent temp for temporary files and then that percent again. Hit enter. And here we have some more that we could delete. Uh, again, Windows logo and R. Continue here. And there's some more we can delete here. And then of course over here in the recycle bin, right corner here, this is just taking up space on your hard drive. Just like cleaning your house, you sweep the floor, you mop the floor, keep it clean. Same thing here. And there's some other places. And then we have, let me down here, I'm going to type up disk cleanup. And I'm going to run as administrator here. And we'll see if this will clean up those files that I just uh, showed you. If not, I'm going to do it manually. So click yes on this. You know, click OK here. Now this one stage, you can use this cleanup. This you can use this cleanup to free up to 30.4 gigabytes of disk. That's on your uh, C drive. So let's look at some other things we're going to be deleting. Windows Update, Clean Up, Microsoft Defender, Antivirus there, Temporary Internet Files, System and Air, System Error Memory Dump Files, System error, mini clump, clump files, Windows error reports, and you can read through there. And some are checked, leaves it optional for you. I'm going to leave it like that. And then of course the recycle bin, that for sure you want the one you want checked. And then temporary files here, I want this. Any thumbnails, you want that. And then we'll click OK here. And yes, delete the files. So this could take uh, a few minutes here. If it does, I'll go ahead and uh, speed it up. Okay, we're back. Took over 12 minutes. I did uh, speed it up some. So now what we'll do is, let's see if it deleted some of the things we looked at. Well, the easiest one would be the recycle bin. So let's go to the recycle bin and it's clean. All the items were deleted. And there were quite a few. It had been a while since I cleaned uh, the PC. Usually try to do it every uh, couple of months or so. But I think this time it'd been a little bit longer, but this got wiped out. Now again, I'm going to uh, using the run command. So hitting the Windows logo and R and I'm going to type in temp. Hit enter. Didn't seem to do this one though. This one still has a lot. So I'm just going to select all of them. And hit delete. Continue. Yes, here. Now there's some that uh, won't get deleted because it could turn out that the computer is using those items. So I'll just skip that. 
let's see. Okay, so I got all of these deleted, and these were deleted. If I try it again, say select all of them and delete. So notice this action cannot be completed because the file is open in Microsoft Defender Core Service. No problem, just leave it. Those items will just stay there. And if you need if you need some of these items again and you delete them, the system will create them anyway. But for right now, we'll leave it. Now again, I'm going to go to Windows logo and run or R and this type, this time I'm going to type the uh, percentage temp percentage, percentage again, symbol, hit enter. Uh, didn't take care of these files, so I'm going to do it manually. Click on it and then delete all of them. So it did delete a few, quite a few here in this uh, folder here. And I'm just going to assume here that see these are being used in another program. So quite a few of these were deleted. So I'll leave this and then Windows logo and R again. There's another one. I don't know if I went over this earlier, but this one is prefetch. And again, these again, temporary files that we don't really need. And if, you're, if these are needed, the computer won't delete them. So let me just click on this, all of them, and then click delete up here. So most of these are gone. It left, it left one. That's okay. Uh, the other area, and I'm doing the main ones here that I look at. Obviously the uh, disk clean of utility did other areas. So I'm looking for yeah, this one you go to the C drive. I'm and then Windows. C drive, Windows. And you go to software distribution. Software distribution here. And then downloads. And then delete. And this one's gone. Now the other area that you need to look at is system protection. I have a link here so I can just open this here, run as administrator or you can go to, I have a link also to this but uh, just in case you don't go to control panel type it in the search over here, right here it is, and then run it, I'll just click on it, and then go to system, and then on the right over here, system protection, click yes, so here's system protection. This is where you have your restore 
points that you create in the system periodically creates these in case you have any issues with your computer your PC you download it as a software or something and something's not running well you can go back to the period when you created that restore point we we'll notice here current usage this one has taking the space of 13.26 gigabytes of restore points don't need that many and you can limit this by decreasing this percentage here I'm just going to delete them all okay so that we delete it and then you always want to create a restore point whenever you download any kind of files or software create a restore point in case you want to go back to that particular time so let's click on, click on create and I'll just label it TP so restore point was created successfully so if I have any issues with the uh, system say tomorrow I can take it back to that particular point or say it's was working better okay so this out so let's go back to the my PC here I probably should have shown you this at the beginning but I forgot <laughs> but anyway before I did this cleanup I had a hundred let's see or 250, 257, 257 gigabytes of free space out of the 930. So this was 257. And so doing this cleanup gained up to 202 gigabytes. Now in my case, it doesn't really matter because I have uh, two hard drives this one's my storage one so I got 827 gigabytes free out of 931 but if you have a small C drive running out of space and you want to create more space this is what you can do delete some of those files and don't let your system protection uh, accumulate too many of those uh, restore points you notice in mine I had up 20 some gigabytes I was hoping that the uh, disk cleanup utility would do more of this stuff that I did manually, but I always do it. I always do both. And it's just me, but whenever I do this, it always, it always uh, seems to me that my computer is responding a little bit uh, better than when it had all those uh, junk files. But thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.